Do you want to know how to develop good cooks, good line cooks? Do you want to stop paying more for a cook that can't do the job, isn't a team player, doesn't want to even work? Are you tired of these kinds of mistakes? Well, stay with me. I'm going to share with you how you can develop a good line cook in just one moment. Hello, this is Dave Scott Peters with RestaurantExpert.com and I got to tell you, I've been that person. I've been approached by my chef or kitchen manager saying, hey man, if we could pay more for our line cooks, I could save you money. I could have better quality people and we would spend less. And I sit there and say, okay, here's more money. And what do you do? You get, you get the same employees paid more and you don't get any more efficiencies out of them. I'm tired of that. So one of my members taught me something that they do that I've shared for years now that I think is brilliant. And I'm gonna share that with you right now. If you wanna develop good line cooks, what I want you to do is when you hire your line cook, start them out at, say, your fry station, whatever your lowest station is or lowest skill set needed in your restaurant. Let's call it fry in my restaurant. I teach you to be a fry cook, I start you at $12 an hour. And as soon as you certify and you do a great job as a fry cook, I'm going to say, hey man, I'm going to start teaching you garmage, salads, cold station, whatever you want to call it. And once you have certified in that station, I'm going to pay you another 25 cents, 35 cents, 15 cents. The number's arbitrary. It's up to you and your budget. But I'm going to pay you more. Now, once you've certified in those two positions, I'm going to add a third position. Now, you're going to know grill or you're going to know saute, expo, wheel desserts, I don't care what you've got, how many stations do you have? And every time you certify, I pay you 25 cents more, if you will. Next thing you know, I start at 12 bucks an hour, now I'm making $15 an hour, but what happened? You're like, hey man, oh my gosh, you just increased my labor. No, I didn't, I decreased your labor. Because now on a slower day, I know I've got somebody who can work multiple stations. Instead of putting a body in front of three different stations, four different stations, I might need two cooks that both can work multiple stations at the same time. On a slow night, I can cut somebody knowing full well that the people, the people I leave on the line can do multiple stations. See, I'm going to become more efficient because those cooks become more valuable to me because I can run the line with less of them because they're fully trained and certified in every position. So if you want to lower your labor costs and develop good cooks, this is a super way to get that done. Do me a favor, before you go, I want you to subscribe to this YouTube channel where I give you tips like this on a weekly basis. I'd also like to learn more about you and what ways you are developing great cooks. Share it in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, make sure you like it for me, right? Click on that little like symbol. But before you go, I've got a special offer for you. I've got a free report I want to give you the 10 lessons I've learned that any independent restaurant owner or manager must know to make more money, get your life back, have others on the team know their job. Just click on the link up in that corner and opt in for my free report. Now look, if you like these tips, hang out here for just a second and I'm going to give you a couple more options to watch in just one second.